Welcome to Brilliant Maths. Some of you have been following me on this channel. Keep watching. Thank you very much. If this is your first time, just stay tuned. Go to the blog, brilliantmaths.com. You will find lots and lots of exercises that will help you excel in your math skills. Today, we are continuing our lesson on geometry. We'll be using equations to solve angle problems. But before we do that, I'd like us to check the work we did the last time. Did you do the work? Here are the answers. Number one, the value of angle A is 82 degrees. Number two, the value of angle B is 163 degrees. Number three, the value of angle C is 115 degrees, and the value of angle D is 93 degrees. Well done. Today, like I said earlier on, we're going to learn how to use equations to solve angle problems. For example, one, find the value of x and 4x. We have a diagram. From the diagram, we can see that angle x and 4x are adjacent angles. And also, they are complementary. That means they add up to 90 degrees. So we want to find the value of x. And after we find the value of x, we can then find the value of 4x. So we know that x degrees plus 4x degrees is equal to 90 degrees. X and 4x are like terms. We are actually solving an equation here. So 5x degrees is equal to 90 degrees. To find the value of x, we divide both sides by 5. So we have 5x over 5 is equal to 90 over 5. 5, we'll cancel 5 there to give us 1. And then how many 5s do we have in 90? 5 in 9 is equal to 1, and we have 4 left. 5 in 40 is 8, and that is 18 degrees. So we're saying that x is equal to 18 degrees. If x is equal to 18 degrees, therefore, 4x is equal to 18 degrees times 4. Multiplying by 4, simple mental strategy, is doubling twice. So we can simply double 18 to give us 36, and you double 36 to give you 72 degrees. So 4x is equal to 72 degrees. Let's check to see if our answer is correct. If x plus 4x, and we know that x is 18 degrees, plus 72 degrees. 8 plus 2 is a 10. We carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 1, and that gives us 9. So 18 degrees plus 72 degrees gives us 90 degrees. That tells us that our answer is correct. Example 2. Calculate the value of each angle. In example 2, we have a straight line with two angles. The first angle measures x degrees, and the second angle is 3x minus 20 degrees. We want to find the value, the actual value of the two angles. Since there are angles on a straight line, x degrees plus 3x minus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. x and 3x are like terms, so we add them together, and then take 20 degrees to the other side, because 20 and 180 are constants. So we have 4x 
degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus, sorry, plus 20 degrees. 4x is equal to 180 plus 20 is 200 degrees. So to find the value of x, we divide both sides by 4. So 4x over 4 is equal to 200 over 4. Therefore, x is equal to 4 cancels and gives us 1. 4 into 20 is 5, into 200 is 50. So x is equal to 50 degrees. Since we have found that x is equal to 50 degrees, that means 3x degrees is equal to 3 times 50 degrees. And that gives us 150 degrees. So the value of the second angle is 3x minus 20 degrees. And that's equal to 150 degrees minus 20 degrees. So the second angle is actually 130 degrees. And by simple addition, if this is 50 degrees and the second angle is 130 degrees, 50 degrees plus 130 degrees gives us 180 degrees. So our answer is correct. Example three, calculate the value of A and all the other angles. From the diagram, we have angles at a point. We have 3A degrees, A degrees, 2A degrees plus 10 degrees, A degrees minus 10 degrees, and then 5A degrees. The sum of all these angles is equal to 360 degrees because they are angles at a point. So we have 5A degrees plus 3A degrees. When you have so many angles to add up, it's usually good to do it in a particular order so you don't miss out any of them. So I choose to go clockwise from 5A. So 5A degrees plus 3A degrees plus A plus 2A plus 10 plus A minus 10. All of them are equal to 360. So the next step is to collect like terms. The like terms here are 5A, 3A, A, 2A, and A. And also, the constants are 360 degrees, 10 degrees, and 10 degrees. So we're collecting like terms. So we have 5A plus 3A plus A plus 2A plus A is equal to 360 degrees. Take away 10 degrees, add 10 degrees. This comes over to the other side, so it becomes a takeaway. And 10 degrees goes over to the other side and becomes a plus. 5A plus 3A is equal to 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, plus 1 is 12. So I have 12A is equal to 360 take away 10 is 350, and 350 plus 10 is 360. So 12A is equal to 360 degrees. So the value of A is equal to 360 degrees divided by 12. 
12 in 36 is 3. So 12 in 360 is equal to 30 degrees. So that means that the value of A is 30 degrees. So if we know that A is 30 degrees, let's find the value of the rest of the angles. So we have A is equal to 30 degrees. I'll start from 5A like I said and go clockwise. Therefore, 5A is equal to 30 times 5 which will give us 150 degrees. 3A will be equal to 30 degrees times 3, which will give us 90 degrees. 2A plus 10. 2A will be 60. 60 plus 10 is equal to 70 degrees. And finally, A minus 10. If A is 30, then A minus 10, A minus 10 degrees will give us 30 minus 10, which is equal to 20 degrees. If our answer is correct, when we add up all these angles together, we're supposed to get 360. So let's check if that is true. With good mental skills, we can easily do this. 70 plus 20 is 90. 90 plus 90 is 180. 150 plus 30 is also 180. And if you double 180, you get 360 degrees. So that tells us that our answer is correct. So actually, the value of A is 30 degrees. Having done all those examples, now try this out. Question one, we want to calculate the value of the unknown angles. For number one, we have two angles, 5x degrees and x degrees. Number two is right there. And number three, as we can see, is we have angles at a point. I hope you know what to do. My name is Ngozi Orevogene. Follow me on brilliantmaths.com. Visit the blog, you will find lots and lots of exercises. Practice them, it will help you. They will help you excel in math. Subscribe to this channel. Keep watching. If you like what we're doing here, kindly give us a thumbs up. And always remember, maths is fun. <laughs>